Hi, today we're going to talk about describing charts and graphs in English. There are various types of charts and graphs that we can use in presentations. The two main kinds are bar charts and line graphs. This video will explain how to describe these different types of charts and graphs in English so you can prepare for your next presentation. Ready to move forward? Let's begin. Bar charts and line graphs show changes over time. We can use various words to describe these changes from one time period to the next. For example, we can say go up or go down, increase or decrease, rise or fall. We can use other words like skyrocket or plummet to describe different types of movement. In general, we can use simple upward or downward movement words such as go up, go down, increase, decrease, rise, or fall. To show a sharper rise or fall, we can use words like surge, skyrocket, to go up, for going down, we could say drop or plummet. If you want to show a quick or abrupt change upward, you can say jump. Or if we want to show a gradual change which goes down and comes back up, we can say slump. Some, but not all of these words, can be used as either nouns or verbs. For example, there was a gradual decline in sales. Sales declined gradually. There was a 4% increase in enrollment in 2017. Enrollment increased by 4% in 2017. Notice the difference in sentence structure here. When the change word is a noun, it is often preceded by there is or there was. How do we indicate types of change or degree of change? Well, there's several words to do this as well. For example, slight, slightly, sharp, sharply, dramatic, dramatically. When the movement word is a noun, we use an adjective to describe it. For verbs, we use adverbs. For example, there was a dramatic increase in taxes. Taxes increased dramatically. Let's look at some of these words in more detail. Slight or slightly means a little bit, increase or decrease by just a little bit. Sharp or sharply means a lot. Dramatic or dramatically means very much. If it's a slower change, we can say gradual or gradually over time. If it's the same rate of change, we can say steady or steadily. Other words like these include smooth, smoothly, rapid, rapidly, slow, and slowly. We can also use simpler words to describe these movements. For example, we had a huge increase in revenues in 2019. There was a small decline in sales the same year. There was a minor increase in sales. Revenues decreased in a major way. Sales grew slightly in 2019. Here are some more details about charts and graphs. Here are some things to consider. We move to a point or by an amount or percentage. Let's take a look at the example below. Sales started at $40,000 in January, and they changed or moved to $50,000 in February. Can you see the change here? This slope indicates from to a certain point. 
But if we just look at the amount of change or the difference between the beginning and end, we can see the increment and we use the word by. They increased by $10,000 or by 25%. We use different prepositions to indicate the amount of change or the point reached. Let's look at some examples. Immigration rose to 800,000 in 2019. This is to a point or number. Immigration rose by 20,000 in 2019, by an increment or amount. Next, immigration rose to 11% in 2019, to a percent or total. Immigration rose by 4% in 2019, by an amount or percentage. We can also say there was a 4% rise in immigration, talking about the percentage. What's the difference? Let's look at the examples below. To 11% of the total population of the country by 4% of its previous amount, by immigration's previous amount. So here's an example. From January to February, sales increased by 25% to $50,000. Let's talk about starting points. These are usually points of reference and they're not really moving yet. It's just telling where the starting point is. We can use words like started at, was or were, or stood at to indicate a particular point where we're going to start. How about ending points? We can say words like ended at or ended up at to indicate the final point reached a point, was or were. Let's put it all together. For example, sales stood at $95,000 in January. This is a static expression. It's just one point. It's not going anywhere yet. The next one indicates movement. They rose to 105,000 in February. This is an expression of movement or change. Then they dropped to 100,000 in March. Again, movement or change from one point to the next. They went up by 10% to $110,000 in April. Sales reached $115,000 in May. So we're talking about the final point there. Let's take a look at some charts and graphs and see if you can describe these in English. The first one is talking about revenues in 2021. This is in millions of dollars. So let's go from the beginning till the end. All right, so we look at the first quarter and it says sales stood at $2.5 million in the first quarter. Then they rose sharply to $4.5 million in the second quarter. Then they dropped dramatically to $1.8 million in the third quarter. Then they rose slightly to $2.2 million in the fourth quarter. Let's look at another example with a line graph. This graph shows company sales in early 2021, again in millions of dollars. So, sales started at $2.4 million in January. They increased sharply to $4.4 million in February. Then they dropped dramatically to $1.8 million in March. Then they rose slightly to 2.8 million in April. Now you try it. You will see some charts and graphs. Do your best to describe them. 
Ready to begin? Let's see what you can do. Describe the bar chart below to your partner. This is talking about expenses in 2022 in millions of dollars. Okay, take some time to describe this. If you want to stop the video, go ahead. Okay, let's describe it. We're going to start here in the first quarter. So we say sales stood at, or expenses, excuse me, stood at 4.2 million in the first quarter. Then there's a change here. So they dropped sharply to 2.5 million in the second quarter. Then they increased to 3.5 in the third quarter, and then they increased again to 4.5 in the fourth quarter. That's where they ended up. Describe the line graph to your partner. This is talking about profits in millions of dollars. Stop the video if you need more time. All right. Profits were at 2.8 million or 2.9 million in 2015. Then they increased to 4.3 million, let's say, in 2016. Then they dropped dramatically to 1.8 million in 2017. Then in 2018, they ended up at 2.9 million. You may have a little bit different wording for yours, but it's good to practice with these different kinds of charts and graphs. Now you know how to read basic charts and graphs and to talk about them in English. Practice with your partner. Next time, we'll talk about pie charts and other types of charts and graphs. That's all for today on Say It Right in English. For more videos like these, check out the links below youtube.com at English Free For You and eslgold.com slash h-u-m-i-x. See you next time.